Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation. This is just going to be a quick video on what I did this weekend. Um, I took all of the wires out of the panel here and I mounted it and I also made some upgrades. So I just want to go through what I did. Um, we're going to first start off with I had to move the RO system over to fit this cabinet. Um, if you recall, I had a bunch of stuff mounted to the wall over here with a ton of wires. Um, RO system is exactly the same. I just moved it over. Um, what I did do, though, is I tightened up all the wiring that was coming in. It all comes up into here and then down. And then I also ran all the wiring into the control box. Um, I added an EB-8 here. Um, I used to have an EB-8 in my main system, which I'm going to go over in a second. Um, I replaced that with an EB-832, so I had an extra EB-8 uh, laying around, so I thought I'd bring it over here to give me a little more control. Um, now I can turn off and on the pump that uh, controls my saltwater mixing, which is down here. And furthermore, I can turn off and on the reef bot if it was to lock up or anything, just with my phone, which is really nice. Um, I also added the RO system to the EB-8, so if there's a leak or if there's anything that was to happen, I could just shut down the RO system at any time, which is really nice. Um, didn't really make many changes here. I like having my leader meters just mounted to a board now. Um, this is a Marine Depot board. It's roughly only about three inches thick. Um, so all the wiring was kind of tight to get in there, but I was able to get all the wiring in there. Um, furthermore, I used to have a ton of stuff over here next to the tank. I cleaned it up and I put um, a surge protector down here. Um, my auto top-off pump that used to run my other tank is now hidden behind um, the reservoirs, so they're out of sight which is really great. They're sitting down there. So it makes it a lot cleaner, a lot easier for me to get to things. So a couple upgrades that I did, I replaced my Vectra pump with a Neptune core pump. So as you can see, it's right there. Um, I decided to go everything Neptune just for ease of control and ease of um, programming. I did like the Vectra, it was working just fine for me. Um, but now I have full control of the Neptune, um, which is nice. I removed some piping and some wiring to clean up the piping up here. Uh, furthermore, I removed my refugium and I now I'm just using some uh, bio balls right there and some miracle mud. And now I have a Kato reactor that I plumbed into my return over here. And that's been working great. This is a Reef Octopus, um, I think it's the LS200, and it's been working fantastic. Um, I had my phosphates at about 0.1 or 0.2, now they're at about 0.03, and nitrates around 1 or 2. So it's definitely working. I don't have to worry about cleaning the sump constantly. Uh, the sump is nice and clean now. Um, I added some other things here. I removed my calcium reactor, which used to be sitting over here, and now I'm dosing. So I added some more dose pump, uh, dosing lines over here, as you can see. And I added some other things into the cabinet, whereas where I used to have my, uh, just the Fido and the one amino dosing and the trace elements, now I'm dosing um, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, and aminos through the two dose up here. I removed my Versa pump and I added a dose instead, again trying to get everything on the Neptune, which is now dosing my Fido. Um, and then behind the board is where I added the EB-8, as I mentioned, or EB-832, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, just a couple upgrades. I cleaned up the wiring a little bit back here behind the trident. Um, but other than that, um, that's what I spent most of the weekend doing. Um, just really happy with the board. It's really easy to install. Um, now everything's on Neptune, so it's just a little bit easier for me to program. So 
Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel uh, as we do live streams and you'll get notice, notified every time we do a live stream. And typically I'm gonna be doing some giveaways. Um, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that way you're notified. I hope everyone has a great day. Talk to you later.